You've seen our stories. We hope uh, every Jobs Friday, promising startup company on promising startup companies. But when do bright ideas turn into even bigger businesses? I got my hands dirty finding out how one man turned a revolutionary sponge, yes, a sponge, into a multi-million dollar enterprise based in Falcroft, Pennsylvania, near Philadelphia. It's part of our new series we call How I Made My Millions. Keeping up with Aaron Krauss isn't easy. A lot of inventors are serial inventors, and that description fits you, right? Absolutely. I've, I've been inventing products and, and ideas since I was probably 10 years old. His most successful brainchild, the perpetually happy, scrappy, scrub daddy sponge. This is not an overnight success by any means. The original business was a car washing and car detailing business. I like to tell everyone I learned everything about business in the detailing business. All done. It was a business he started right after college back in 1993. Not exactly the career path his parents, both of them doctors, had envisioned. I started this process of inventing all these new improvements and new types of buffing and polishing pads. And in 2008, about 14 years after specializing in automotive foam products, 3M, having noticed the upstart competitor, offered him a deal he couldn't refuse. We were bought out by a $28 billion a year company. The terms of the acquisition weren't disclosed, but one of the patented products 3M definitely didn't want was this tough-as-nails sponge Krauss initially designed to clean mechanics' hands. We took the product, uh, we made about 100 of them, we put them in a box, I labeled it junk, scrap, put it in the back of the factory, and that's where it sat from 2008 until 2011. And what got it off the shelf? I gotta credit my wife. <laughs> so I had asked Aaron to come out here and clean the lawn furniture. I was looking at it, I said, well, what am I gonna use that's not gonna scratch the paint off of this? got those old sponges in the back of the factory. I'll finally have a use for them. I'll use them, I'll throw them out. So he grabbed one of the rock-hard plastic scrubbers and plunged it into a bucket of warm, soapy water. And it went, psh, softened. Totally soft. I said, well, what, what's that? Thing's ruined. <laughs> now it's not gonna scrub at all. I took it out, I started scrubbing, and it, it worked a little bit. But as I was scrubbing, the temperature outside was changing. It was getting harder and harder. It was at that moment he realized the foam actually changed texture. Soft in warm water, hard in cold, which made it perfect for cleaning just about anything. I looked at it and I said, oh my God, we missed the entire boat. And then you'll An see. An epiphany for a now sponge be that Krauss is still excited to show off. Oh man, isn't yeah. that amazing? He started giving it out to our friends and family to test. Now it's going to be great for scrubbing all your pots. And everybody came back with great results. Oh, get out of my way here. <laughs> I, I want to do this. Not everyone was this enthusiastic at first, but a shot on QVC and a trip to the Shark Tank in 2012 quickly stirred up interest. The retailers started calling us. Bed Bath & Beyond, Walmart, Home Depot, they all started calling us. Until then, Krauss says he'd only sold about $100,000 worth of sponges. Now, he estimates total retail sales have hit 100 million. What do mom and dad say now? At this point, I'm the only one in my family that has patents, and I think that uh, they're finally pretty proud. 